Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Right, so today I will start on the topic 4 uh, about personality and consumer behaviour. Okay, as you can see from the slide that I share to you all. Okay, let me enlarge it. Okay, so topic 4 is about personality and consumer behaviour. Um, in this topic objective, as you can see, number one, we will define on the personality. Number two, uh, define uh, the theories of the personality. Number three, comprehend personality and consumer diversity. And number four, differentiate brand personality self and self-image. Okay. So, as you can see, um, in the third slide here, uh, the first of our topic um, objective, personality and the nature of personality. Okay, what is uh, personality? Okay, personality is something like related to your characteristic, your behavior uh, because somehow um, if you realize, uh, sometimes um, uh, we might be have a, a difference on our personality and characteristic okay, our traits. Okay, so in here, as in your textbook, the inner psychological characteristic that both determine and reflect how a person responds to his her or environment. So if you define it on the environment or personality, you are very passive, very silent, okay? So mostly you are a very um, silent um, trait and characteristic personality. But if you define of the family, you are very talkative, you are very happy, how to say that something like uh, very happening. Uh, so it will also influence to become very happy and very cheerful people and person and personality. It's not only just come from the environment of the family, sometimes somehow the characteristic personality may change according to the personality of your uh, maybe where you are uh, studying. Okay, for example, maybe from house you are very silent. And yet when you are joining your friends in the university and colleges, all sudden, your characteristic personality will be changed. Okay, so there is the nature of the personality here. Uh, as you can see, um, we have the personality reflects individual differences. Personality is consistent and enduring, and personality can change. Uh, so this is nature atau uh, characteristic. Macam mana personality itu uh, mempunyai karakter dia. Ada uh, punya uh, nature ni lebih kepada macam mana dia punya kebiasaan dia, okay? So, as you can see, they have reflect individual differences, consistent and enduring, and also personality can change, okay? So, we have uh, in the 4.2 theories of personality. So, it's divided into three here. And we have two theory. Unconscious needs uh, or drives are at the hearts of the human motivation. Unconscious needs meaning to say, Sometimes you did something, you didn't realize that you really want it, okay? So mostly we're talking about the physiological needs. Uh, for example, we have food, uh, drink, shelter, and also clothes uh, that really need uh, of it, uh, unconscious needs, okay? And then the second one, new refrigerant uh, personality theory. Social relationships are fundamental to the formation and development of personality. Uh, meaning to say in here, we are talking about um, maybe I can relate with the Maslow hierarchy needs, um, social, uh, social needs uh, because we have the social relationship between the family members, friends, uh, and the third one we have trait theory, quantitative approach to personality as a set of the psychological traits. Okay, so when we're talking about trait theory, uh, something like we measure. Okay, later I will explain to you because in our chapter. In this slide, will be explained more. Okay, so in the Friedian, uh, Friedian theory, okay, Friedian theory, we have three. Um, we have ID, ID, uh, something like identity, warehouse of primitive, or instinctual needs for which individuals seek immediate satisfaction. So that's why, as I told you before, when we're talking about ID in here, it's something like like we need food. Okay, so it means that we need to. They say you hunger, lapa, during your fasting, you will feel very hungry. So you need to uh, immediate, okay, satisfy your needs because uh, during breakfast, right? Uh, so this is what we call immediate satisfaction. You have to, to seeking on it. 
Okay, super ego, individual internal expression of society moral and ethical codes of conduct. So this is we talking about internal expression of society moral. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, during uh, non Ramadan time, for example, uh, other than Ramadan time, when we eating in the public, there is nothing wrong, right? But when you are eating during Ramadan time, okay, in the public. This is something like for the Muslim, especially this is something wrong uh, because it's already uh, breach uh, the society moral and the religious moral because we are not allowed to eat during the day, uh, for example. So this is something like super ego example. Uh. Ego, individual conscious control that balance the demand on the ID and super ego uh, example. Uh, when we talking about individual conscious control, we are referring to. Um, we put some hole. Kita membuat um, kita letakkan satu uh, garisan ataupun sesuatu benda untuk menghalang kita. Okay, unconscious control to be happen. Okay? So we balance between the demand of the ID and super ego. ID just now we feel hungry. So super ego, uh, individual internet expression. So if Ramadan time, we know how we want to actually hold ourselves that, uh, from eating in the public. So ego meaning to say this is the uh, characteristic that we hold. Okay, we hold because we as a Muslim we know that we have to fast. Okay, and then we have to make sure that we balance it during Ramadan time. As a Muslim, we have to fast. So this is what we call ego. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, I believe that you can understood you well through this. Okay, and then we go to the next one. So this is examples, make good and personality traits according to the marketers. Okay, they are doing some research on this, but I'm not believe because for me, if I am a junk food uh, eater, okay, I don't care whether it's snack food like potato chip, protein latte is according to this, right? This is what they do, uh, some research on this. So according to this example, um, there is a few of a cut of uh, protein, I mean snack food, and according to the personality traits, they have protein. Tortilla chips, pretzels, snack crackers, cheese toast. So, when you mention this one during uh, Ramadan time, <laughs> it's like, wow, it really challenged us, right? Okay, so potato chips. Uh, personality traits, we have very ambitious for the both the people who are like to, okay, who have the down food at potato chips. The personality traits, more ambitious, successful, high achiever, impatient with less than the best. Uh, so, this is according to their research. And then tortilla chips, they have perfectionist, high expectation, punctual, conservative, and flexible. Pretzel, lively, easily bored with some old routine, uh, flitterous, intuitive, they overcome it, project. Snack crackers, rational, logical, contemporary, shy, printed time alone, and chill skills, conscious, uh, consciousness, principle, pop of fair, may appear rigid, but have a greater integrity, plans ahead, and love order. So, uh, which you are so maybe you can actually expect yourself through these types uh, but I think that I'm the five types of you okay all right so we go to the next one this is example also um, it, it captures some of the mystery and the excitement associated with the forces of primary drive primary drive the main need that we want like for example he's or she's holding some chocolates there uh, so it's time Godiva. Godiva is the brand name of the chocolate. So we try to like attract people with this kind of thing. Uh, so this is example advertisement, all right? So um, we have the neo figuring personality theory. So these are the second types of the personality theory. Social relationships are fundamental to personality, of course, because we're talking about the social here. So according to this, um, I think the researcher, not, uh, so I think he's the researcher, Alfred Adler, okay, Alfred Adler saying that uh, it's based on the style of life and the feelings of inferiority, okay. So, um, of course, in the personality, when we have the, in terms of our feelings of inferiority, inferiority means to say we have some slack. We want, we feel that we are inferiority, okay. Um, how to say it in very simple words. You feel something like, um, uh, unsecured. Ah, inferior. You feel something like insecure. You feel like 
uh, something like people better than me. So feel something like down there, okay? And then Harry Stacks will even be established relationship with other to reduce tensions. Of course, sometimes we need friends, sometimes we need uh, our parents, we need our siblings. When we have something like a problem, we need something like people to console us, some people to, to listen to us, to lend their ears, so they can give advice. But don't ever uh, seeking for those maci bawang because they can make the things worse, okay? Okay, Karen Horney, the three personality groups, we have compliant. Compliant meaning to say you are okay. You menuru arahan, okay? Move towards others, aggressive, move against others, aggressive. Detach, move away from others, meaning to say you are withdraw. You totally move out eh, from, from other people, okay? So this is example because it's consumers seek to excel and achieve recognition, so create your own comeback. So something like sports uh, apparel product here. So I believe that mostly you realize sports apparel product, uh, they're seeking for something like to achieve. When you are using the product, you achieve some success. Uh, so this is one of example I can, I can give to you all. Uh, just a presentation. Uh, when you use something like uh, a Nike uh, t-shirt, for example, Nike sports apparel for playing football, for example, you feel something like you become a champion. Uh, so this is something like example. Uh, Alright, so we move to the trade theory. Okay, according to the trade theory, focus on the measurement of the personality in terms of the trait. Okay, so the trait, any distinguishing relatively enduring way in or which one individual differs from others. Simple words, you are rare. Uh, meaning to say you are different from other people. So that is trait. And then personality is linked to broad product categories and not specific brands. So meaning to say, Product category is not specific, brand meaning product category, okay. They say, uh, because we know we don't want to mention under uh, brand, right? Okay, they say under Nestle, okay. Because I see also mention uh, it's a brand. Under Nestle, we have also Milo. We have also have instant noodle like Maggi. So, this product we call as product category. Okay, we have drinks, we have food, okay. Product category, not specific brand Maggi. Not specific product Milo, alright? Okay, and then example soup and soup lover trade. Now, just now we make food, this one is soup lover. Okay, according to this one, they have three types example chicken noodle soup lovers, uh, tomato soup lovers, and also vegetable minestone soup lovers. So, for the chicken noodle soup, uh, the kind of people treat is like watch a lot of TV, are family oriented, have a great sense of humor, are outgoing and loyal. Like daytime talk show, mostly like to go to church. If like us, we like to go to Mushola, alright, go to um, uh, Moss, huh? alright, tomato soup lovers, passionate about reading, love facts, like meeting people for coffee, okay, and uh, are not usually the life or the party. I think I want the tomato, okay. So the vegetable minestrone soup lovers, they are enjoy the outdoors. So mostly they are very usually game or outdoor for trying new things, spend more money than other group dining in fancy restaurants, likely to be physically fit and gardening is often a favorite hobby. Alright. So this is according to don't ask me, this is not done by me, this is by the your textbook, main textbook. Yeah, marketing research, okay. So under personality and understanding, okay, the consumer diversity. It's divided into seven here. Okay, if you go deeper on this definition, we have the first one consumer innovativeness, dogmatism, social character, need for uniqueness, optimum stimulation level, sensation seeking, and variety novelty seeking. So it has seven traits in here, okay, personality. So we go for, I think that all the seven, maybe six, is a very familiar words to you. And, and, um, Except one, I think, is dogmatism, right? And my right, I think like I'm still with you all, okay. So this is a example that you, a soul person is experiencing the joy and adventure of the wilderness for those who like outdoor, okay, activity. This is example, I think like good product, maybe like the, uh, what is called, hug, okay, they use for in order to do this, okay, activity. Okay, the first one, we go with the consumer innovativeness, okay, what is this, okay? Innovativeness means that you are the person who likes to have updating something new, reporting the trend. Okay, number one, we need 
business to innovate, they are further broken down for high-tech products, just now I already mentioned to you. Of course, uh, they are very global innovativeness. Uh, every time there's new product like Samsung or maybe like um, uh, iPhone is uh, getting out the new models, you are the first one who are going to that. So this is one example. And then domain-specific uh, innovativeness, following the same meaning to say, you don't want to be outdated than others. When people keep on mentioning about the new phone model, for example, the phone, okay? So you will be the one who will be grabbing for the new models, okay? And innovative behavior something like you want to raise yourself, okay? In order to have an uh, involving in this kind, what we call uh, technology, huh? innovative behavior. You want to involve in this area. For example, your friends who are taking subject, uh, sorry, courses like diploma in computer sciences, diploma information technology, diploma multimedia, graphic design. Uh, so this is the kind of the students who are like the innovative student. I'm not mentioning that our business student DBA is not uh, diploma marketing management is not uh, innovative behavior. We have our innovative behavior in our own way. Okay? Like this. Okay, right. So we go with the example consumer motivation skills. Okay, we have here, general consumer innovative skills and a domain specific consumer innovative skills. Okay, so the first one, uh, they say a general consumer innovative skill example, okay, mostly what you get from, from them. I would rather stick to a brand I usually buy rather than try something I am not very sure of uh, because something like they don't want to be highly stable. So, this is a very general consumer innovative skill, meaning to say they are not challenging themselves. But a domain specific for those who are really and um, what we call uh, really passionate, okay, can I say passionate, eager to know about the, the new technology, high risk taker, compared to my friends, I own few rocks ever. Not necessarily must be technology, okay. In general, I am the last in my circle of friends to know the title of the latest rock ever, okay. So, what I'm trying to say is here, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is something like the domain specific consumer innovation. All right, so we go to the next one dogmatism. Okay, what is dogmatism? Okay, it's not a dog, huh? Okay, so a personality trait that reflects the degree of rigidity a person gives way towards uh, the unfamiliar and towards information that is contrary to his or her own established beliefs. Okay, um, I think I will use my own words in here, okay. This statement referring to um, the characteristic that people feel something unconscious. Unconscious meaning, uh, sorry, um, maybe the right word is feel insecure. Okay, insecure when they are not familiar with the certains of the, 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 the new products or what they believe. Okay, for example, for example, during this MTO time, right, people believe must be used their full product brand compared to use other brand because that all is certified as the best in order to cure those um, what we call the things like uh, we can't see the virus and everything okay so because we have believed that that all is the best one brand number one compared to other brands maybe they have something like i give example maybe like shower bath we have like uh, um, maybe like uh, life boy okay uh, so they will compare that and life boy i will might be take that all uh, for that because they don't believe because in here dogmatism is very very high okay, when the dogmatism is very high meaning to say you thinking that i only believe in my own belief okay when something like is contrast to my belief uh, i will something like reflect on this uh, okay so as you can see in here, personality and understanding the consumer behavior range on the continuum for inner directness, uh, directedness to the other directedness. Okay, inner directedness rely on the own value when evaluating the product. Okay, so this is innovative. Example, you want to buy your own laptop. So you do some research, evaluating. And then you know that people will recommend, okay, why not you go to Lot Yard Plaza EP, that is the best price is there. Maybe uh, for some, maybe um, you go and uh, search in Lazada, or maybe you go to any kind of the online web, okay, like maybe 
Microsoft, IBM, okay? I do not know what else, but this is something that you rely on your own video. After you do some research, you specify with your own evaluation, then you buy that product. So this is what we call inner direct business, okay? But other direct business, we look to others. I think that my friend is using like an uh, Apple brand of their laptop, so I want to buy like that. So you look to others. You you have something like judgment that uh, people are using that kind of product is better. Uh, meaning that they are better using. I, I also use the same brand as what my friends use. Okay, So less likely to be innovative. So this kind of person, in order to keep on their secure, okay, in secure, so what they do, uh, they try to be uh, low risk taker. Uh, they don't want to challenge themselves to, to do some research, so they just follow what other people do. Okay, so we go with the next one need for uniqueness. Okay, need for uniqueness meaning to say, uh, the consumer who avoid conforming to expectation or standard of others, huh? avoid conforming to expectation or standard of others meaning to say, they try to be rare, they try to be different from others. So, uh, when we're talking about to avoid conforming to expectation or standard for others, meaning to say, I don't want to follow what you want, I want to be mine, my own self, who I'm self, be, believe, uh, be myself, right? Okay, so then we go with the optimum uh, stimulation level, a personality traits that measure the level or amount of novelty or complexity that individuals seek in their personal experiences. Okay, so according to this statement, okay, a uh, high OML consumer tend to accept new things. It seems like uh, innovative just now, okay? When you are OML uh, customer, okay, the optimum stimulation level high, the high risk, you will check also this, okay? And novel products more readily than low OML. Low OML meaning low risk taking, okay? It's cheaper. Okay, sensation seeking. Uh, what is sensation seeking? We used to hear the word sensation seeking. Something like, wow, we enjoy about something like what we do, right? Okay, the need for very novel and complex sensation and experience and the willingness to take caution and physical risk for the sensation. Mm -hmm. Example, mountain climbing. Ah, for those who are outdoor person, they feel like I want to challenge myself in the Mount Kinabalu hiking, for example, climbing. So what they do, they take the risk. Okay, they take the social, go with their friends and planning for the trip and take the physical risk. Whatever happens, as long as I take this one as a challenge to myself. So this is sensation seeking. For those who are maybe not, okay, not outdoor uh, person, physical activity person, so they won't do this thing. They will feel like during this, especially this expo time, well, of course we just stay at home and then we just, uh, yeah, be ourselves, be myself, and then we are ready then to take the risk, okay? Alright, so we go with the variety novelty seeking. Variety novelty seeking meaning to say, measure a consumer degree of variety seeking. Variety seeking, you are seeking for the different choices, different options, okay? Example, exploratory person behavior, use innovative uh, vicarious exploration, okay? Exploratory purchase behavior, example, when you go to buy your handphone, okay, I also ask the same question, like this one in my class, in my specific class, the last semester, what's your exploratory purchase behavior? When you buy handphone, what you are seeking for? Number one, you say, whether we're looking into the camera, okay, you want to buy phone, but you're looking for number one, camera. Okay, number two, the features, the design, everything. And I said, where is the cost? The cost is the last one, they say. So meaning to say for you, cost is nothing, like me, if exploratory purchase behavior, I'm looking for the cost first. Is it within my budget or not? Okay. All right. Number two, use innovativeness. Okay. You explore the you know, as I also mentioned just now, you do some research, you explore, you see, see some people doing testimony about the product, your handphone, whether it's okay or not. Okay. Be curious exploration. You go by sitting and asking. It's combination. Huh? You do some research, asking people. Uh, be curious meaning you do more. Okay, rather than explore and also just use innovative things, huh? you explore uh, maybe by maybe just watching from uh, YouTube, okay, what they do in media, uh, in production, or how they actually uh, recommend testimony about the product, 
maybe asking from your previous uh, people who are using the product as the model, okay? Uh, so this is basically a donation skill. So cognitive personality factors need for cognition and MC, not MC, yeah? okay? A person craving for enjoyment of thinking, okay? We have this kind of person, yeah? because for them, if I'm not thinking before buying and purchase this product, I feel not satisfied, okay? Individual with high NMC more likely to respond to ads rich in the product information. Okay, according to this statement, okay, um, this term is referring to the person when they want to buy something, they're looking into the advertisement, they have rich information, meaning to say they are more visualizing. Ah, if like me, I like the slide like full slide compared to short slide like this. Ah, this is the kind of the uh, need for cognition because they they like to think with the enriched information. Huh? All right, and then um, as you can see from here, with the low NMC, of course they are verbalizer. Uh, they have less information, but they are more on hobby. Uh, that one I will explain later. Okay. Ah, uh, you see, cognitive personality factor. We have visualizer versus versus verbalizer. Okay, visualize. Okay, meaning uh, your seeing your sight. Verbal being like what I'm doing right now, huh? I'm talking, okay, explaining, okay. Example is visualizer, okay. The advertisement stresses strong visual dimension, okay. Visual dimension in here, just showing the shoes, okay. They show the shoes, okay, and inform the information about the shoes in here, okay. This is stress more on visualizer. If you want, get the shoes, go to the buffet, go to the shop and try it. Huh? So they will just strong. They just only stress about the advertisement uh, visual dimension, okay. But in contrast with the verbalizer, because verbalizer, uh, it features a detailed description. Uh, so this is the one who with the, just now, uh, I said uh, I might be have uh, what we call up and down there, okay. Uh, verbalizer, they have lots of here, information, detailed description about this bag, okay. So you can see here, okay, I think that there is more wording, flooding words here compared to the previous one. Previous one is only short, okay, this is visualized, okay. If the real advertisement, I will think that these shoes will show in the television compared to like this. They, they must be more um, like using templates, okay, or maybe personal selling, okay, if you go like into Ikea, you can uh, uh, experience it. Huh? Okay, now we go to the next one. Okay, uh, from consumer materialism to compulsive consumption, uh, acquire and show of possession. Uh, this is the character of materialistic people. Huh? We have acquire and show of possession, self-centered and selfish, seek lifestyle full of possession, do not get greater personal satisfaction from possession. Okay, so as you can see from here, Okay, this is the, uh, what we call uh, some of the characteristic of the materialistic people. Okay, I don't want to go uh, further because this is how they are. They acquire and show of possession. For example, they show through their Instagram. Self-centered and selfish. When they want to buy something, they want the first one will get the limited edition product. Okay, and seek lifestyle full, uh, lifestyle full of possession, meaning to say uh, their lifestyle, uh, meaning their life, is full of the position to have everything, big house, big family, uh, not big family, big car, huh? and then do not get greater personal satisfaction from the position. When they uh, buy something product, they buy something, they're not satisfied. They want to buy other else, okay? They, they already have the expensive handbag. They want to buy other handbag, okay? Uh, that is, they, I can say, like, a very selfish or maybe they are greedy, uh, okay? Alright, so we go from consumer materialism to compulsive consumption. Uh, fixated consumption behavior, consumer fixated on the certain products or categories of product. So the characteristic is they are very passionate interest in the product category. Their willingness to go to great lengths to the secure object. And they are very dedication of time and money to collecting. Uh, so they are very compulsive consumption behavior, addicted or out of the control consumer. Uh, some of the consumers, they are very addicted to collect, for example, mini car, okay, mini car, for example, collection mini car, or maybe some of the consumers are very addicted to collect
collect like toys, okay? Like Transformers toys and uh, they have a set of series. Some of them also collect like magazine, okay? So this is something like out of, of control customer because they, can I say, obsessed, okay, to the certain product. Okay, like girls, maybe you are busy collecting your shawl, uh, collecting your uh, makeups, okay, uh, set, okay, the letters from, like, from Vivi Yusuf, okay, from Dark Scarf and so forth, okay, so they be uh, obsessed. And I realize also some of them, they are very obsessed on collecting on their Barbie dolls, okay, yeah, that is a long time ago, all right. So, consumer ethnocentrism and cosmopolitanism. Ethnocentrism, uh, consumer feel it is wrong to purchase foreign made products because of the impact on the economy. Okay, so they can be targeted by setting nationalistic themes. Uh, so, in here, ethnocentrism, uh, consumer, uh, you are only obey to buy your own product, buy the local, buy Muslim first. Uh, uh, buy Muslim first is not the other category, but buy local. Made in Malaysia first, buy product made in Malaysia, and then a uh, cosmopolitan orientation would consider the wood to be their marketplace and would be attracted to products from other countries and countries. So, cosmopolitan meaning to say you try to buy other imported products, uh, other products. And then the last one we have brand personality and self image. We have personality like traits associated with the brands, example, Perdue. I think I, I wrongly uh, pronounced Perdue. Okay, Perdue and Freshness, Nike and Eclipse, BMW is a performance driven. Okay, brand personality which is strong and favorable will strengthen a brand but not necessarily demand a price premium. So, uh, this is the kind that personality like they are really eager, can I say obsessed to the brand. Okay, so this is example uh, for those who are like Nike. Uh, Nike product, they are associated with Eclipse, BMW with the car. Right, so this is an example, BMW products, okay. In what ways do Max and other brands personification help create the uh, Volkswagen brand image? Speak English in interview about Volkswagen products and its brands, okay. So product anthropomorphism and brand personification is about product anthropomorphism, attributing human characteristic to object, uh, Tony the Tiger and Mr. Peanut. Uh, so this is brand like in, I think like important product, uh, peanut butter, okay, if you realize, uh, maybe I can uh, realize also like uh, Coco Crunch, okay, uh, the chocolate uh, cartoon, okay, I do not know whether it's not monkey, right, okay, uh, maybe like uh, Winnie the Pooh on the bear, okay, uh, this is one of the characteristics, they use something like animal, human characteristic to the object and brand, uh, brand personification, consumer perceptions of brand attribute for the human-like character, Mr. Coffee is seen as dependent, uh, dependable, friendly, efficient, intelligent, and smart. Okay. Um, yeah, depends. Okay. I cannot give, give anything, but if you realize like uh, uh, Starbucks, we see that those the barista. Okay, we can see that those who are then like uh, this one, dependable, friendly, efficient, intelligent, and smart. Okay. All right. So, this is the brand personality framework. We have uh, sincerity, excitement, competence, sophistication, and ruggedness. Okay, that's all uh, below the elements. Okay, product personality issue number one we have gender. Some products are perceived as the masculine coffee and toothpaste, while others as feminine bath, soap, and shampoo. Okay, so of course, uh, certain product according to the gender. We have women, we have men. And mostly the product like um, involving the toilet seat products, they have uh, different uh, gender. Geography, actual location like Philadelphia, Cripsies, and Arizona IC. Uh, fictitious name used as Hidden Valley and Bay Creek. Okay. Um, in Malaysia, uh, we have also, if you realize, uh, for example, uh, for those who are like to the Asam Jeruk, Asam Jeruk, Pa'ali, Poppy Deng, uh, something like that. Uh. And then color. <coughs> Color combination in packaging and products denotes personality. Um, example, during Christmas, very popular with the green and red color. And while during Chinese New Year, they're also using, using uh, the Ong, they call as uh, Ong color, right? The red color. And then um, <coughs> green color, white color, okay? Alright, self and self image. Consumer has the variety of enduring image of themselves 
these images are associated with personality in that individual consumption related to the self image. Okay, self and self image. Of course, we see ourselves like you see, uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's this? Uh, the beautiful wall uh, in the world, uh, something like that, right? The enduring there is with themselves. One or uh, or one or multiple self, a single consumer will act differently in different situations or with a different people. Uh, I remember one of the motivators said, uh, this is something that we are using different types. Kita guna different topi in a different situation. With family members, we are different type of people, characteristic. When we are with the family members, we are different type. When we're with the friends, different type. With the teachers and lecturers, we are different type ourselves. So, actually, this is not about a split personality, but we are talking about how we behave, how we react towards uh, different people or different situation. Huh? And we have the variety of social roles. So the marketers can target the product to the particular self. Okay, we need to say your own self, right? Okay, makeup of the self-image contains traits, uh, skill, habits, possession, relationship, and the way of the behavior. So they're developed through the background experience and the interaction with others. And of course, the consumer select the products congruent with this image. Okay, so how the way you are. For example, you are the motor rider, big bike. So you use jacket, big motorcycle, bag, okay, everything it might be related with your image, okay? If you're using something like EX5 motorcycle, for example, you wouldn't use this kind of the big bike, motorcycle, helmet, and so forth. I believe it will be different. It's contrast, right? Okay, example of the self image, okay, they said, uh, actual self image because it tells middle aged women who like their hair long to continue. This is the product doll. Okay, differentiate self image. We have actual self image, ideal self image, social self image, ideal social self image, extended self image, and out to self. So I want you to read your own here. Okay, and then extended self uh, possession can access self in numbers of way. We have actually symbolically, uh, and then we have conquering status or rank. Based on feelings of immortality and endowing with magical powers. Okay, so the possession meaning to say that you want to be your own self. Okay, uh, that's the meaning. Okay, and then um, altering the self image, uh, consumer uh, use self entity or products to ex express individual by creating yourself, uh, maintaining the existing self, the expanding the self of conforming, for example. Um, alter themselves probably uh, they have a very strong color skin and then they want to do some like whitening so you do some alteration okay not doing plastic surgery yeah but you want to alter their, yourself from maybe uh, before this with the uh, uh, short hair and then you try to find using uh, uh not using but you try to actually um, be like a long hair woman for example before this not using hijab but right now you are using hijab uh, so this is how we actually altering our self-image, okay? So, virtual personality, you can be anyone, okay? Then the swapping, this one, I'm not agree after all, uh, because we are using US textbook. So, in their country, they agree on this uh, LGBT. So, like me, I'm not uh, agree after all. So, number one slash, no gender swapping. You cannot, you because in this world, when the God, Allah create us only with the two gender, male and also female. So, you can't be from male to become female <laughs> yeah so please don't do that so you male you just male you female you female and then age differences of course okay from the youngest then we come to some oldest and my manner to aggressive okay so be from uh, just behave and then you become aggressive and you become very like uh, enthusiastic okay towards something all right so this is visual personality so this is some snapshot of the today connected consumer yeah, all right, I'm done. Conclusion, okay, be yourself, put Anita, all right? Thank you so much for listening to my uh, lecture today. I hope that all is well. Inshallah, after this, we'll have a like, YouTube video uh, because I already recently made some of the other, um, yeah, method to express this lecture to you all. Thank you so much. Uh, stay home, stay healthy, and... Um, Assalamualaikum.